guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I am gonna do an empties video today because as you can see, it's pretty overflowing. There's actually a random product here that wouldn't even fit in the basket, but I'm filming this in my living room today because it's a really dark and rainy day. Normally I film upstairs, but I thought the natural light would help out because it's so like a dismal and gross outside. So let's just jump in. I'm just gonna grab stuff and tell you what I thought, starting with the random. It's a dishwasher um, cleaner or dishwasher detergent. I used to use the pods and I found that sometimes the pod itself would not dissolve all the way and my dishes weren't getting clean. So I actually switched about, I don't know, a year, a year and a half ago to the uh, liquid detergent and I've had much better luck with it. Obviously there's no pod to dissolve um, so my dishes get really clean and I wanted to mention this one because it's got the Cascade Complete with Dawn and Oxy and I thought this was a really really good one. I did actually go, this is completely empty, I did go back to repurchase another one but it was sold out so I just had to get the regular Cascade Complete but the next time I see this one with the Oxy I'm definitely going to get it because it was a really good cleaner. I had no problems at all. Um, on the Along the lines of dishwasher this is a dishwasher cleaner. So this actually cleans your machine. So it says it cleans hidden grease and grime, hidden parts, spray arms and filter. Um, and you just add it to a full load. You actually place it right on the bottom of the dishwasher. My only, I really like this product. Um, it works well. My only complaint is the price. You get three washes, which I think you're supposed to use. I think it says like once a week, but I used it like once a month. Um, it's like five bucks for three pods. So I'm wondering if maybe they sell like a bulk pack for a little bit cheaper. I will continue to repurchase this, but it is pricey for just three cleans. All right, now we're going to move into the bin itself. Um, I've got some wipes here. These are the Burt's Bee Micellar Makeup Removing Towelettes. I don't remember where I got these, um, but they were okay. I wouldn't repurchase them. I just thought they were average. I have a mini travel size skin to mint shave gel. I got this for a trip we took last year um, to Kansas City for, I think we went for like three or four days. But then shortly after that, the holidays rolled around and then the pandemic happened. So rather than just save it for my next trip, I just decided to use it in my current, you know, just put it in my shower and use the rest of it up. Um, this is my favorite brand of shave gel. I don't really care what scent. I just like the brand. Um, it doesn't rust on the bottom at all. And it's just a really good formula. So I'll definitely continue to repurchase um, that brand. Uh, a couple vitamins in here. Um, I think there's more somewhere else too, but these are just the probiotic gummies that my uh, son takes. I get them on Amazon. We have them on auto delivery every um, two months because there's 60 uh, gummies in here and he takes one a day. So every two months auto delivery. Uh, these are another vitamin or supplement uh, my son takes. They're the Nature Craft, Nature's Craft Elderberry Kids Gummies. It's like a raspberry flavor. They're actually pretty good. Um, he's been taking these for years, um, long before the pandemic, and will continue to do that, of course, moving into flu season. Um, also from Amazon on auto delivery as well. Uh, this is a Biore Free, uh, free Your Pores. I like this line, the Free Your Pores line. This is a uh, charcoal acne scrub. Nothing bad to say. It was a nice um, scrub. I thought it was good. I would continue to repurchase this. I mean, I wouldn't like run out and, you know, have to have it. I'll die without it. But it was a good scrub and I would definitely repurchase it again. I really like this line, that Free Your Pores line. It's really nice. I went through this four pack or five pack, four pack of Skin to Mint brand um, gently exfoliating vanilla scented razors. I personally did not care for these. I mean, I did use, this is an empty pack. I did use all four of them. Um, I do have more of these, um, which 
is kind of a bummer because I wasn't really a fan, but I will use them. But I prefer like the Chic um, brand Quattro, I think it's called. It's like a five blade one where you just buy the razor heads. Um, I will use up what I have left of these, but I just didn't think they were that great. I didn't think they were as smooth. Um, they just kind of seemed eh. So I'll use up what I have left and then I won't be repurchasing those again. Um, I went through an Aussie Total Miracle Detangling Spray. Uh, really good. Nothing bad to say. It smelled good. I really just like Aussie hair products in general. And I thought it did a good job of detangling like any, you know, snarls or knots in my hair. And bonus was it smelled good and this bottle lasted like almost a year. So that was really good as well. Um, I went through an OxyClean Max Force Gel Stick. These are the kind that the product is on the bottom and you turn it over and when you push down, the product disperses out of here. Um, I actually really like this product. Previously, I've been using this for years, but previously it would take me like a year and a half to go through one of these. Um, but because I am heavy into clothing, reselling pre-owned clothing, um, I go through this a lot more because obviously when you're buying pre-owned clothing, you're going to run into stains. Uh, marks, you know, areas that have issues that need treatment. So I actually ran through this pretty quickly. I think I ran through this whole stick in about three months. I already have repurchased it and will continue to repurchase it. It's a really good, like, easy to find common uh, stain remover. I did go through one of these Neutrogena Hydro Boost Body Gel Creams. This is a gel cream formula, so it's it's literally like a gel. It's not going to look like a typical white cream. Um, I really, really do love this product. My only complaint is as with most pump tops, when the product, when the bottle gets down to like, I don't know, here, the pump stops pumping because the pump, you know, straw is not designed to suck up all the stuff on the bottom. So then I just have to turn it over, let it sit like this, and then take physically unscrew the cap and use like the wand to get the product out. I know that's not a huge deal to some people and I've talked about this for years, but I just think companies or whoever designs like these spouts should make them so that they do a little bit better of a job of getting all the stuff out of the bottom because you're paying good money for an item. This is like an $8, you know, cream. It's just a minor little inconvenience, but I love the product. I'll continue to repurchase it. But maybe they could just change the bottle design and not even have a pump and just have it like a squeeze top or a tube. I don't know. But it's a great product regardless. Um, there's a body wash here. This is from Bath & Body Works. I'm pretty sure I got this at the semi-annual sale. I'm pretty sure. It's the Love Scent Rose and Vanilla. I really like these Bath & Body Works body washes in the tube. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the ones in like the clear bottles. However... In their defense, I haven't tried that formula in a while. I, I like the tubes. Um, I only buy them on sale. This was probably $2 at the semi-annual sale because it was like 75% off. I purchased a few different um, scents uh, from that sale for like 2 bucks. Great products. They lather well. They smell good. They moisturize, but the tubes don't last me very long. It's a 10-ounce tube. I probably only get... I don't know, six to eight showers out of a tube. Maybe I'm just using a lot of product, but other than that, great product, and I would highly recommend it if you can get it on sale. Um, I've got a women's one a day, which is my multivitamin that I've been taking literally for years. I don't know, over a decade. Don't know what happened to the cap, but already have repurchased another one. We'll continue to repurchase more down the road. Um, this is my facial moisturizer. It's the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Replenishing Hydrator. It's also like a gel consistency. I discovered this probably four years ago, maybe five, four to five years ago. Um, and I have never looked back. Uh, I absolutely love it. I use it morning and night. Um, I try to always get the largest one because it's the most bang for your buck. This is the 4.2 ounce it's about $100-ish. Um, I usually only buy them when they're on some kind of a sale 
or obviously if I have a gift card or a coupon. Um, so I try to catch them like if Sephora has a 20% off sale or Ulta gives me a 20% off coupon. Um, sometimes Nordstrom will have two of these for 100 So I try to get them on that kind of a deal, but I use every drop. I've already repurchased another one that I'm already working my way through, and I absolutely love that product. Um, what is this? Oh, this shouldn't even be in here yet. Um, this is a product I'm currently using. Uh, my best friend is actually an esthetician, so she is really, really well versed and educated in skincare. Um, and she had recommended this to me. Um, I'm currently using it. I probably put this box in here by accident for like the next empties that's coming in the future. Um, but it is a great product and I'll, of course I'll talk about that more when it's in my actual empties bin, which I'm assuming will be either the next empties or the one after that because I'm trying to do these videos more frequently now. Um, another product I went through is, this is like a cult classic for you know, hair. It's called It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In Product. Uh, this was expensive, as you can see. I'm a, I'm guessing I probably got it on sale, like when they did like 20% off or something. However, um, a couple things. For one, it lasted a really long time. I've literally had this bottle probably going on two years. Um, you can see clearly there's product in here, but it's the product is just old. Um, I've had it for a year and a half ish, and pro you, you never know, guys. It could have been sitting on the shelf for a year before that time. Um, so it did start to get weird, and because it's like a gelish consistency, as you can see, it's hard for it to spray out of this little nozzle. And I think because it got old, it just wasn't spraying well. Um, so I decided to go ahead and part with it because it just seemed weird. It just, the consistency changed. Um, I would repurchase it. However, I would repurchase a smaller bottle next time. Um, but it's not something I'd run out and grab because I think there are other products that do similar things for a whole lot less money. Um, as you can see, this is not cheap, but it's a wonderful product. I'm not dissing it at all. It's just, this was too big of a bottle for me to use up before it got weird and old. Um, another lotion I went through is this Jergens hydrating infused, oil infused hydrating coconut. Nothing bad to say. The pump was a little finicky, just like all the other pump bottles I get. So once again, I just turn it over and then use the wand as I'm dropping it, um, to apply it. Um, nothing bad to say. Great smell, great price point, great product. I like the Jergens brand in general. Um, I think I still have another one of these. I'm not sure, but I think I do. I bought like three or four of them in the springtime because I really like using this in the warmer months. Um, I'll definitely continue to repurchase it. Everything is dropping all over. I'm, it's a mess over here right now. Okay, moving on. Um, this was a set. Let me grab the other one. I did not like this set. Uh, it's the Paul Mitchell Awapui Shampoo and... Um, the detangler, which I think, I think it's a set. I was gifted this as a set. Um, don't get me wrong. Always grateful for a gift. I just personally did not like this set. Um, I did not like the shampoo. I thought, I felt like you had to use a huge amount to get your hair clean. And I don't really have that much hair. I chopped, I chopped like eight inches of my hair off, um, after quarantine. So it's not like I have a ton of hair anymore. Um, I just felt you had to use a lot of this to get your hair clean. This was, eh. they just felt very watered down. They felt very like diluted. I don't know what it was. I just didn't feel they, I would never repurchase. Well, someone gifted them to me, but I would never buy them myself. Um, I just did not like those. And of course, Paul Mitchell is a great salon brand. I just did not like those two products for some, for whatever reason. Um, another body wash here. This is the Dial Pure Moisture in the Camellia. Is that what it says? Camellia, Camellia scent. It's like a floral scent. Um, these Dial Pure Moisture body washes are great. I've used a few different scents. Um, I would say they give my Dove a run for their money. They lather well, they smell good, they leave my skin moisturized, they don't leave like a film on me. Um, I would say after Dove, this is like my second favorite or at least second best body wash I've ever tried. Um, I've tried I think two or three other scents 
of this line, the Pure Moisture, and I literally have nothing bad to say. I would definitely repurchase more of these. I would just try out different scents. Great price point. I don't know. Great product. Definitely slept on. I don't really hear a lot of people talking about that product, but it's a really good one. Um, next is a Neutrogena Deep Clean Gentle Scrub. This was a scrub that we had in our shower that my husband and I both use. I remember it just being kind of okay. I wouldn't particularly purchase this one, but it wasn't bad by any means. It just seemed kind of subpar. The most random thing in this bin. Trader Joe's Rainbow Peppercorns. I know this is super random to be in an empties video, but it's technically an empty. I've tried a lot of peppercorns and a lot of different grinders. I don't know what it was about this, but it was good. My only complaint is that the bottle is so small. It is a 1.8 ounce grinder. I will definitely be repurchasing this. I'm probably going to buy like three of them because they were, I don't know what it was. For one, the grinder itself was excellent. I'm actually wondering now if I could reuse this bottle and just refill it. Um, I haven't even tried to unscrew it. I'm going to do that after I film this video. But anyways, the peppercorns themselves tasted really good. Um, the grinder was wonderful and I think it was like $2.99. So I definitely re remember throwing this in here because I specifically wanted to give that product a shout out because it was that good. So definitely going to be buying more of those unless I can unscrew it and refill it with my own peppercorns because that's more cost effective, but the grinder was bomb. Um, there's a couple face masks in here. This is the uh, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrogel Mask. It is from that same line. Um, and this was pretty good. I remember it being like super slippery and not wanting to stay on my face. Um, but otherwise, it was really good. I definitely remember my skin just feeling really hydrated after, hence the name. Um, pretty inexpensive. I think these are like $3 at Target and Walmart, but um, I would repurchase. Actually, I think I bought two of them, so I have another one. But I think I would still continue to repurchase those. Um, but these were my favorite face masks. I went through a little bit of a mask phase over the end of quarantine, or maybe just like over the summer whenever these started acquiring. Uh, these are the brand Bombi by Papa Recipe. Never heard of these in my life. Um, my friends who ha also have a YouTube channel, um, Tiffany and Hugo, sent me these. Um, their channel is called Sell Quick, Ship Quick. They are uh, part-time resellers. Anyways, that's besides the point. They sent these to me. They actually sent me a few of them, so I have a couple more, two or three more. Um, they are really good. I've never heard of them, but I'm definitely going to be looking for, actually, I think I already looked for these on Amazon and found them and I'm going to order them um, because they were really good. They stayed on my face well. They were really user-friendly, easy to use. They smelled good. I saw, a, you know, a difference in my skin felt really good. I used this purple squeeze lifting mask and the red squeeze intensive mask. Really nice. If you If you are a sheet mask fan, I would recommend these. You can get them right on like Amazon or eBay or obviously if you know already have heard of these and you know where to purchase them, I would go ahead and do that because they were really, really nice. Um, next up is this, I'm probably going to butcher this name, Terra Mare? I don't know. Terra Mare. It is an aloe and tea tree toner. Um, I got this from a friend who got, she got it in a FabFitFun box. And she does not like tea tree. Like something about tea tree, she doesn't like it. She doesn't like the scent of it. So she actually gave this to me. And it is an expensive product. I looked it up because I liked it. And I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll order one. And it was like $30 or $40. Um, this is a red glass bottle. I did not like, I don't like the packaging because I, I prefer to be able to see my products through the glass. But the product itself was really nice. Um, my skin reacted well to it. I was... It was just a really nice, you could tell it was a high quality toner. Um, you could feel a difference, see a difference. It was very nice. Unfortunately, I wouldn't repurchase it because of the price. Um, it's not a huge bottle. It's only five ounces, and I'm personally just not willing to pay 30 or $40 for that size bottle. Um, but if you're looking for a good toner and money's no object, I definitely recommend it. These 
most of you know if you've ever watched an empties video of mine in the past few years are one of my number one holy grail products they are the first aid beauty facial radiance pads you get 60 in a container i use one a day in my night routine so a jar will last me two months this is something i literally cannot live without when i run out and i don't have more i notice it i I just, I love these. I cannot say enough good things. I talk about them in every empties because they are that good. They are safe for all skin types, even sensitive skin. They're alcohol free. I just think they are a wonderful product and cannot say enough good things about them. I've already repurchased these and I think I even have a backup as well. They are pricey. When I first started using them, they were like $25. Now they're up to like $35. So they've increased steadily over the years but they are an excellent product um, and I highly recommend them to anybody who just wants to step up their skincare a little bit more um, this box just went with this so it's the same thing so obviously I'm not going to talk about it because that product was in this box and I just put it in here and forgot about it um, this is a product called Andalou Andalou Naturals it's a hyper, or hyper, wow, Meyer Lemon C Creamy Cleanser. This is a product I saw it at Whole Foods a few times. I know that's random. Um, and I did not purchase it there. I actually purchased it at TJ Maxx because it was like $5. Um, it actually came in a box, but I don't have the box. Um, and I remembered seeing it at TJ Maxx for like $4.99. I'm remembering that I saw it at Whole Foods. I don't know why that's relevant to my story. But anyways, I purchased this. Um, and this is something that grew on me. Like at first I was like, eh, it's okay. But I think if I remember correctly, I ran out of another creamy cleanser because I'm mainly an exfoliator person and I decided just to use this and just started using it consistently and it actually really grew on me over time it was something I didn't love at first but I really learned to love it and I would highly recommend it if you are not a fan of exfoliating your face every day I know some people exfoliate every day twice a day and some people don't like to exfoliate at all everybody is different but if you are a creamy cleanser girl or guy um, I would recommend this. It's, it's very nice, very gentle, very refreshing. I definitely liked that a lot. And if I saw it again at like TJ Maxx or something for five bucks, I would pick it up. I just wouldn't pick it up at Whole Foods because it's like $20 there. Um, I did go, go through a couple of the, no, wait, I don't like this. I know that I did not like this. And I think, yes, I think I went through this and another one and I did not like this. Um, this I think I bought on accident. The packaging looks very similar to the Pro Enamel one, and I think in my mind I thought I was purchasing the Pro Enamel toothpaste, and I bought this instead. I did not like this. I don't know what happened to the other two, but I did not like that. It was gross. It was terrible. I understand that people who have very sensitive teeth maybe need to use this, but there are so many toothpastes now that have sensitive elements in it, like for, you know, sensitive enamel. Ugh, I, I do not like that toothpaste. No, just no. Um, I did go through a perfume. I've had this bottle probably three years. Um, but it was perfectly fine even after three years. I, th I read somewhere that perfumes have like a five-year shelf life. I don't know if that's correct or not. It seems kind of long, um, but I don't know. I've had this for like three years. Nothing bad to say. Um, I wouldn't repurchase this one, the Bombshells in Bloom. However, I love the original Bombshells scent. So just the plain Bombshells, heck yeah, I would repurchase it. It smells amazing. Um, this smells just like that with obviously a floral undertone. Of course, the packaging is beautiful. I mean, look at that. It's a beautiful packaging. Um, but I just wouldn't repurchase that this particular one um and actually i have plenty of perfume right now so i'm not going to be repurchasing any perfume i'm trying to work through with what i have lastly um i have used this for years probably i don't even know guys over five years i would imagine um i actually buy it off of ebay 
I have a the same seller that I buy it from that I've been purchasing it from for years. I only go through maybe one of these every six months. Um, it's the retail is like twenty two dollars, but I purchase it on eBay for like ten bucks. So the seller, you know, on eBay gets it somehow and sells it for ten dollars. This is let me open it up. This is about where I find that it's not effective anymore. Um, of course, there is still product in here, but the way my brush is designed, it just doesn't pick up the product correctly. So once I get to like this, maybe sometimes I'll let it go a little longer. There's usually just like a ring around the edges um, of the pan. I'll go ahead and get a new one. So I, I already have gotten a re repurchased a new one. This is just an old one. Again, it lasted probably six to seven months. Um, I'm finding I'm going through my makeup and cosmetics much slower now because I just don't really wear a lot of makeup anymore. Um, I work from home most of the week uh, and with the mask on everywhere I go, I just find what's the point. This is just my personal preference. If you are a makeup girl all day, every day, do you, that is awesome. But for me, I just find when I do wear makeup and then I have to go everywhere with a mask on, the, the mask ends up taking most of my makeup off. I don't know. Let me know if you are giving up makeup lately or if you're still wearing it every day. I would love to know. I would love to know if I'm the only one that has kind of given up on makeup at this point. Um, I don't know. It's just for some reason I find wearing no makeup is very freeing. Maybe it's just me. Let me know down below your thoughts. Anyways, I'm sure this video is super long. I'm going to try and edit it right now and get it up ASAP. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day and I will link my entire empties video playlist down below in case you are new and love empties videos because I have a ton of them from over multiple years. Have a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.